welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson and welcome to my video for today. So it's been six, almost seven, maybe seven and a half weeks since I actually went to do a grocery haul pickup, grocery haul shopping. So we've done a little bit here and there. We got milk and bread and eggs, you know, a few things like that. But like I haven't been in about, yeah, I'd say about seven weeks. So I didn't need any meat. I needed only a couple of frozen vegetables because I have some of those. Plus, um, for fresh things, I didn't need a ton. I got a few things, but we do go to the farmer's market. We have a lot of them in our area. It, it is the right season. It's the summer here in New Jersey. So farmer's markets are plentiful. My garden, my little garden, is not producing a ton, but we'll hit the farmer's markets and get fresh fruits and veggies as needed. So, what did I get not having been to the grocery store in seven weeks? It's not a lot of meat and it's not a lot of vegetables. It's a lot of stuff. I got some essentials. I got some um, household needs. I got some snacks. You'll get to see. It's going to be a bit of a long haul because what I picked up will probably now last me until after Labor Day. So Labor Day, if you're not from the United States, would be the first weekend in September. So I don't plan to do another big pickup until after Labor Day. So these things will be fillers and sustainers in addition to what I already have in the freezer and what I will be picking up at the farmer's market. So we're going to lower the camera and I've got my handy dandy son who's going to be off to the side and helping me move and hand me things. and. I'm going to explain the grocery pickup and how it happens here in New Jersey. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, before I lower the camera, I got two gallons of organic milk. So this should last us until about Labor Day. If I do baking, I use powder milk, evaporated milk, or the shelf stable milk. So let me get these in the fridge before they start dripping all over the place. All right, I picked up a big thing of Tide. I prefer powder detergent. I don't know why. I like it in my dishwasher. I like it in my wash better. But this was on sale and I got a really good deal on it. And it was on rollback. And so I picked this up. This should last me a long while. I forget. It's 107 loads. So if I go through this in the next couple of weeks, we got a problem with the laundry. So this should last me a good long while got four boxes of ramen. I enjoy ramen once in a blue moon for lunch or for a little snack. My son Gavin really enjoys to have some ramen every night. You don't use the packets, right? He just uses the noodles. He doesn't use the packets, which I know are high in sodium. So he just does these. A little treat for him. So I got two boxes for the cabinet and two boxes for the stockpile. This will last till Labor Day. If we run out, we're not getting any more. We will have to make this work. Okay, so you can see here I have cardboard boxes. And I'm going to show you the different items in the boxes. When I got to, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done a grocery pickup in about seven weeks. The last thing I did was Instacart, and they brought the items in these cloth bags. So here in New Jersey, we have gone bagless. It's a pain in the neck. It's something we're trying to get used to. And every store is different. I still can go to some stores and get bags and paper bags seem to have made a comeback. So I didn't realize it didn't say anything on the website at all about bringing your own bag. So I just assumed they did some type of a cloth bag or something. But when I got there, he said, well, I could give you boxes I'm not supposed to, but you got a big order. And he said, otherwise, we would just toss the things in your car. And the young man that I had was very gracious loaded them really nice so we're going to take the things out but in the meantime we did get some blueberry creamer actually we got three of them we got some extra extra these are in my cooler bag my son picked out vanilla cannoli cream latte i have never heard of that one and also caramel macchiato he picked that up for his mama and I did mention we got three of these. I was hoping for four, but they only had three. They were in the process of restocking. So um, probably next time we go back, we'll find it. But we picked that up. Again, this is lasting us for weeks and weeks. So 
So cool. don't think we're doing this all in one week. Okay, so let me show you what we got in the boxes. And I'm going to pass some of this off to my son, and he's going to help me shuffle around. Um, it's too heavy to lift, but we did get one case of Deer Park water, 35 bottles. I like keeping water on hand. We hit the road a lot on day trips, so water bottles are great to bring with us. Just having water bottles in the house is a good thing. So who doesn't like the dollar loaf of Italian bread from Walmart? Picked up that. Picked up some bagels, Thomas bagels. I picked up, I ordered great value. They substituted with Thomas, which is no problem. Now these items are not in any order because of the way they just packed it in the boxes. So, you know, you might see bread in one box and find bread in another box. So I'm just showing you what we got. <coughs> We picked up some of the Texas toast. We like that with our spaghetti, which I think we might be doing tonight. I got some French roast for the hubby and my son. The donut one, uh, donut shop. I like this one. The Walmart coffee, if you've never used their cake cups, is excellent. And I would say it's comparable to a brand name, and it's a whole lot cheaper. So I picked that up. And we are still using our percolator as well with fresh coffee. But um, our Keurig finally died. I am done with Keurig brand coffee makers because everyone we have seems to just break down. So we went and got a cheapy, cheapy, cheapy one. And I had some points on my Amazon card. So I think I ended up paying $3 and change for it, which was fantastic. So we, my husband tried the MyK in that with regular coffee and he said it came out perfect so we're happy with this new machine that we got all right we picked up um some bacon egg and cheese biscuit sandwiches i usually pick up like one batch of breakfast sandwiches we go through that in about a week to 10 days and then after that it's all homemade yeah if you want to give that to daddy that's fine uh the ragu for one i like this myself I think I picked up two of these, I'll have to see. But there are four single serve packets. This is really nice. Like I picked up a jar of marinara sauce for 88 cents. I can add one of these to it. They come out to about a dollar a package. And it's just enough meat in the sauce. It's delicious. Or if I just want to sit down or my son or my husband just want to have a quick meal, it's nice to have that in the pantry. All right, this is for my son for his smoothies. This is tropical fruit blend, pineapple, mango, papaya, and coconut. You'll want to put that in the deep freeze right away. All right. Okay, we picked up a couple of cans of cream of mushroom. I wanted the great value. They did not have it, so we ended up with the Campbell's, which is absolutely fine. That's really for the stockpile because I have used up all my cream of mushroom soup, and I like that for um, soups, stews, casseroles, and all the rest picked up some press and seal again not a food item but I needed that for the stockpile picked up I ordered great value and I think yeah let's see we got one great value and one of the wonder and probably because they had to substitute I I was fine with the substitutes these are a dollar and they are 87 cents at Aldi so for the few pennies more I'm not driving to Aldi okay my son requested peanut butter gavin i got peanut butter for my son he uses this in smoothies we love pb and j sandwiches so i just opted to get the big one all right so let me we'll go back to those they're frozen and then maybe what i'll do is put the frozen back in here and you can take it to dad for the deep freeze picked up two of the it would be the uh, walmart brand antiseptic mouthwash this is like Listerine this is fantastic okay these are really really good peanut butter dog treats my dog loves these they're fantastic usually what I, I guess I ordered the wrong ones these are tiny little baby ones they're oh they're soft chews I must have ordered the wrong ones usually we get like more of a biscuit but this will work all right Gavin needed some toothbrushes, so he picked those out himself. All right, so let me show you some frozen. Got a couple of bags of the steam peas. I don't usually steam them, but they were a dollar or 97 cents a bag. I like these for recipes, mostly for casseroles. So I got two of those. Got a big bag of corn. I did have some corn in the freezer. I wanted a few extra things. 
uh, breaded chicken for Gavin. He does prefer the Aldi. That's kind of like the Chick-fil-A chicken, but we're not going to Aldi right now, so this will work for him. Picked up some burgers for Gavin and my husband and myself for a quick burger on the grill. Gavin can throw this in the air fryer and have a quick lunch. And then a big bag of strawberries. They did not have the small one, so we got the big one. So Gavin can also make some smoothies. All right, Gavin. Can you take this over to the deep freeze? Yep. All right. Deep Thank freeze you, baby. station, baby. There we go. Thanks so much. I got more frozen, and you can come back when you're done. All right, let's continue here. I got a bag of um, cheddar and sour cream. These are ruffles. I ordered the great value. They substituted them. Now, if you've never ordered from grocery pickup from Walmart, what they do is you put in your order. You can yay or nay a substitute. Even when they come to the car, they will say to you, are you okay with the substitutes? And if I'm not, they'll remove them and deduct that from your bill. Most times your substitutes are actually a better deal because if, like I got the Wonder hamburger rolls versus just the great value for the same price because they substituted it. So it's really a pretty good deal. So I ordered the great value sea salt. I'm not really big on the kettle and that was my fault. I didn't notice it was a kettle. I find them too hard to chew, but I did want the salt and vinegar. So we'll make it work. Picked up some hot dog rolls because we're going to be having some hot dogs in the next day. Whoop, there you go, Gavin. Mm -hmm. Picked up a loaf of white bread to have for our PB&J sandwiches. We're also going on a bus trip in a couple days mm -hmm. to the Thomas Edison Museum here in uh, northern Jersey. And so we're going to be packing a picnic lunch. Mm -hmm. Picked up my favorite, um, and I ordered the great value. They substituted that, the garden vegetable cream cheese. And this one, vanilla caramel, I don't remember ordering it, but maybe I threw it in the cart and didn't realize. So we have another creamer. We have sausage, egg, and cheese croissants. Again, I get these. These will last us for about two weeks, and then after that, it's strictly homemade from scratch. That's it. These are convenient foods for me with working. I do a lot. Sometimes I need something quick to grab and go, so it's cheaper to do it that way than for me to maybe go out and buy something else. All right, this looks like out of all of this, I'll put it back in the box. This is refrigerator freezer, so we can scoot this out when I'm done. Got some classic hot dogs. I prefer the beef hot dogs. I don't usually get anything other than beef. Got a couple of butters, a couple of cream cheeses. One will be for bagels, and one will go with the sausage. Pair them up with some croissants and let me tell you you've got the best sausage casserole in town for breakfast picked up some buttermilk I've got a couple of recipes for that picked up some French onion dip as a snack and a treat this is also great if you make beef stroganoff and you want to put in your sour cream you can leave out the onions and you can use French onion dip the onion flavor is in it the sour cream is in it I did have a recipe on poor man's beef stroganoff. A lot of times I just use this, especially when you don't have onions. You got chips and dip. You can make beef stroganoff with this. It's great. All right, what else did we get? Got some cinnamon rolls. This is a treat for us on my day off. I usually like to do bacon and cinnamon rolls on one day. Gavin loves broccoli. So I got two big bags of broccoli. This used to be a deal at five dollars that was my favorite thing to get it's now six dollars and twelve cents but it's still across the board it's a good deal it's healthy gavin will eat it my whole family will eat it we'll roast this up in the oven and this bag will last us a week we can just roast the whole bag and then just use it as a side dish for all the meals that we make it's fantastic so i got two of these i did get two of the sausage this I got for Gavin. He doesn't even know it yet. But this was a smoothie in a bag. So it's all the things that you need. And you can just add ice and yogurt and milk, whatever you want to add to it. But it's just in a bag and it's a dollar. So I thought I would try it. So it's um, got all the fruit and everything you want on here. And you just take this from the freezer. And you don't have to add anything other than milk and yogurt or water and ice, whatever you want to do. 
All right, what else did we get in here? Oh. We got some uh, bean and beef burritos, basically. They, I ordered a different style that we normally get. They substituted that. And then I picked up two of these pizzas. They're two something each. And, you know, they're thin crust. They're delicious. They're Walmart brand. But a quick meal, you know, come home, tired, don't feel like doing much, throw in a pizza. That's also another good thing we could do tonight. Have a pizza, make salad. We're good to go. Okay. Okay. Extra wide egg noodles. So I did a video. I did the, uh, I did a haul and then I did the tuna casserole. And I said, I was trying to compare store brand to uh, name brand. I know sometimes a store brand is just as good, sometimes it's not. So I had used Dollar Tree egg noodles for a long time, $1.25 for the bag. I don't like Dollar Trees, they've changed the flavor or something, I don't like them anymore. I got the store brand, I got ShopRite, no way Jose did not like them at all. I like a good brand, if you want to say a good brand, a better, a name brand, maybe that's the one I want. And I like the extra wide egg noodles. Yes, I'm very fussy with my egg noodles. So it's like 89 cents more. It's worth it to me. My family likes it better. This is what we've chosen. So I got two bags of those. I got a bag of the, which I had ordered the Great Value chips. And so I got the Great Value. I think the Great Value on most of the foods that we get are fantastic. So picked up, I think, four boxes my son's favorite mac and cheese so i got a couple of those and then i got this for myself crunchy peanut butter i don't know if my husband likes this you don't like crunchy right gavin do you like crunchy graham you do okay graham and i like the crunchy i like that bits in it with a, a pb and j sandwich to me is just not the same unless you have crunchy peanut butter so that actually might work on our day trip that we're going on the bus trip. We don't mind peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I got foil sheets. Um, there are some poor man's meals that you can make in sort of little pockets. And I want to try some of that. Sometimes this just works out easier for me. I like to have a box of these. So I got that. And I got some regular foil for my cooking and baking. There you go. Picked up some Irish Spring. This is my son and my fate. I think... I think all of us like this and I like the pump so you can just pump out five pumps goes on one of those little mesh scrubbies gives you a great shower you don't stink you smell good especially in the summer here in New Jersey you gotta smell fresh so that's for the stockpile picked up a mayonnaise I thought I ordered two I must have just gotten one mayonnaise for the stockpile and picked up let's see I have to check my order because a couple of these things I thought I ordered four of these, but I only see three. So marinara sauce, uh, the great value. It's very good. I prefer ragu, but this was fine. Pick this up. I was getting a little low in the stockpile. Picked up some green olives for the stockpile. Picked up some black pepper for the stockpile. I forgot to order white pepper. And this is an extra, we like to use this as a filler for our dog, for his dog food. I did get a bag somewhere around, oh yeah, I got this one, we got this dog food as well. And then one last thing, we got the uh, bigger box, they only had the big box of the house blend. So this would compare to what we call the blue coffee, the Maxwell house. So that compares to that. And I think that'll do it. What do you think, Gavin? Is that pretty much it? I, I think, think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all. So we're, we're, we're tired. Let me pull the camera back up. We are tired. We're zoned out. And so that's everything we got. This total was about, I want to say it was about 300 297 something like that. Now we'll go back and check my receipt. Because I thought I ordered like, you know, four of those and five of those. And now maybe it's me. I was, you know, tired, rushed the order. So notice I didn't get grated cheese. I forgot that. I didn't get white pepper. I forgot that. Not a big deal. You know, not a big deal at all. I was trying to basically fill in the gaps of the stuff that I need for meals. Once I do another shopping down the road, I'm going to have to start filling in the stockpile 
and start replenishing some of those things. Not only just replenishing, but because um, I've been trying to use some things up, but also looking ahead of holidays are coming, winter is coming. What kind of things would I maybe eat in the winter and the holiday time that I don't have? Maybe cranberry sauce or stuffing, things like that that maybe that I don't have right now because I don't use it. So you'll be seeing me do more of a stockpile refresh in the fall as well as holiday. I'm going to start holiday shopping for groceries and food and things like that. All right, so I think okay, so what do you think? I'm sure some of those things, some of you are going, why did you buy that? You don't need those things. I, I know. I You know, it's funny. Everybody's thought process is different. How you feed your family is different and all the rest. So this is my home. This is the way we do it. I, I My guys, if they want something, I pretty much give it to them. Um, we do eat plenty of fruits and veggies and plenty of good meals. Again, these are the things, like those filler things like tinfoil, that's not a food, but you need that to prepare the meals you need or you want. And, you know, laundry detergent. It's not like a, wow, I got laundry detergent. It's not a food but you need those things. So again, these things will last me until after Labor Day. At that point, I probably will need to stock up on frozen veggies, maybe some meats and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for coming over. Thanks so much for sharing your time with me. Thank you, Gavin, for all your help and, you know, moving all this stuff around. And now I got to get busy. I got to put all this away. We've got lots and lots of new videos up and coming i've got a clean with me sort with me new series coming and a bunch of other videos so stick with me thanks for coming over again we'll catch you all on the next video